All right, here we go with the unit L review for capacitance part one. This one goes out to Ian, who's asking for me to spice things up a little bit. So here goes. All right, so um, we have a 12 volt battery that's going to be hooked up to a three microfarad capacitor and a six microfarad capacitor. And I'd like you to um, ask yourself the following questions. Which has more charge, the three microfarad or the six microfarad? Which has more voltage and which has more energy? So why don't you pause and see if you can figure this out yourself? All right, we're back. So which has more en which has more charge? Turns out that when they're in series, they both have the same charge because you see these negative electrons here. They came from this positive plate. That's why the positive plate's positive because electrons came from here and went up to there. So they both have the same. The answer is they both have the same. Hey, which one has more voltage? Well, if they both have the same charge, Q and Q, then to have, to have the same charge, this one needs twice as much voltage. So the, the 3 has more voltage. In fact, um, it's, to have twice as much, I'm going to break this into three parts and give two parts to this. So if I break it into three parts, that's 4 volts. So it's going to be 8 volts here and 4 volts here. That's the only way, if it breaks up like that, that's the only way this can have the same charge as that. Yeah, see Kirchhoff's loop rule, when you go up 12, you got to come down 8 and then another 4. So that's 12. All right, um, so which has more voltage? The, the 3 microfarad. Okay, which has more energy? Well, it turns out that energy is equal to 1 half... 1 over C Q squared. So um, they both have the same charge. So the one that has the least amount of capacitance will have the most amount of energy. And so the 3, the 3 microfarad has the most. In fact, it's got twice as much. It will have twice as much. All right, going on. All right, so here we now have a 12-volt battery that's hooked up in parallel with a 3 microfarad and a 6 microfarad. All right, tell me this. Which one has more charge? Which one has more voltage? And which one has more energy? Go ahead and figure it out. Really, go ahead and figure it out. I'll wait for you. Okay, hit pause. Okay, so um, which one has more charge? It turns out that um, the 6 microfarad will have more charge because it's, it's better at storing charge. And since they both have the, the same um, voltage across them, they both have 12 volts. If there's 12 volts here and 12 volts here because of Kirchhoff's loop rule, see if you start here and you go up and then down, you got to lose all your voltage. Same thing with this. This has to be 12 also. And so... Um, and so they both have the same voltage, 12 volts, so the charge will be bigger on the 6 period. Okay, which one has more energy? Okay, with the energy thing, um, I'm going to use a different equation. I'm going to use 1 half C times V squared. And the reason I'm using that is because they both have the same V. So the V is a wash. Neither one is going to gain an advantage because they both have the same V. But the C, um, the 6 period microfarad has more capacitance by two, by a factor of two. So there's, this is going to have twice as much energy as that. All right. Moving right along. Okay, so here we go. Um, this looks like a pretty intimidating circuit, but it's really not. It just looks intimidating. So the question is, um, I have several questions on this circuit. Okay, take a look at that circuit. We got a 6 farad, a 3 farad. These are huge capacitors, but why work with tough numbers, right? So a 12-volt battery, a 6 farad capacitor, a 3 farad capacitor, a 2 farad, a 4, a 4, and a 6. So um, the question is, do you know what the charge on C1 is? Go ahead and see if you can figure out the charge on C1 right now. Go ahead and pause. Okay, I hope you didn't work too long on that because the answer is very simple. It turns out that because of Kirchhoff's loop rule, if this goes up 12 volts, 
then you got to come down 12 volts. This is the this is ground floor, and so this is the higher the the highest level in the mall with the mall analogy, and this is going to drop me 12 volts when I come down here because of the loop rule or the mall analogy. So then if I want to know the charge on C1, it's just C1 times the V1. So that's going to be equal to um, 6 farads times 12 volts. That's 72 coulombs. That's a lot of charge. Okay. Um, why don't you try and figure out what is what the equivalent capacitance of the entire circuit is? Can you tell me what the equivalent capacitance of the entire circuit is? Go ahead and pause. Okay, so um, this is how you do this. To get the equivalent capacitance of the entire circuit, it turns out um, that you you got to first take care of the ones that are in series. And you have to do like 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Uh, that's going to give you one fourth plus one fourth is a half, but then you got to flip it around, and so that's going to be two farads. This is two farads. Um, if you do that with this one too, that's one six plus one third. That actually equals one half when you add one six plus one third, and when you flip it around, that equals two. So this is two. This combo is two. This combo is two. So what we have then is um, the following. We have one that's two in parallel with this is two but it's in parallel with two so that's going to be four farads and this one's going to be six farads so that's going to be twelve farads. That's what the the equivalent capacitance is. You could get rid of all of these capacitors and replace it with just a 12 farad capacitance and then that would be that would tell you what the how to do the rest of the circuit. Okay I have a couple more questions on this. What are the voltage what are the voltages across each of these capacitors? See if you can figure out what the voltages are across each of these capacitors. Go ahead and pause and oh by the way this is 12 volts before you pause that's 12 volts hope you didn't pause and you're sitting there wondering how to get the voltage all right so i will uh see you in a little bit go ahead and try it okay we're back now um to get the voltages across here i think you remember before we said this is 12 volts it's got to be 12 volts because that's the only stairway down to the ground floor the same thing for this guy this is only going to be 12 volts as well. That's I mean that's going to be the full 12 volts cuz you go up 12, you come down 12. Okay. Now, um these two, they're going to have the same charge on them because see this negative charge here? It came from the positive plate here. And so if they have the same charge, then they um will need to have because they're the same capacitance, they'll have the, they have to have the same voltage. So this will have 6 volts. And this will have 6 volts. So it'll be 6 volts and 6 volts. Okay, remember that um, these will also have the same charge on them. Because um, these negatives, you know where they came from? That's right, they came from here. And so to have the same charge, anytime capacitors are in series, they have the same charge. Uh, to have the same charge, I'm thinking that this is going to need more volts than that. In fact, this needs twice as many volts as the 6 farad. So again, this will be 8 volts and 4 volts. Okay, well, we've just figured out pretty quickly what all the voltages are across each capacitor. And once you know that, then you can quickly get the charge on each of these if you want, because you would just use this equation. All right, I'll see you in the next, next uh, video.